Yo, what up? It's a tip of the week, and today we're going to discuss how. Well, for the last four years, I've been traveling as a concierge dental surgeon in different offices within Houston, providing IV sedation, oral surgery, implantology, and now coaching, which I'll come to your office and sit over your shoulder and train you as you provide surgical coaching. And I've gotten this question so many times, I decided to create a video so it's there just for you for the archives. So let's jump into it. The question is how? How did I become proficient in surgery? Well, number one is this. Humility, humility, humility. You know, when I finished training at Meharry Medical College, then I went on to do a residency at the VA hospital affiliated with the University of Pennsylvania. And then I went to Augusta Regents for my IV sedation um, certification. I didn't stop there. Now, a lot of the coursework that we have, it's good because you could put it on your wall or you could put it online and you could show all your friends and colleagues what you're doing. And most importantly, your patients so they can feel most comfortable. But the way in which I got to this point was consistently staying humble. I always try to figure out what can I do to learn and grow. And oftentimes when I go into offices and I see how they're operating, the purpose is not about growing and getting better. It's just what can I do so I could satisfy my C requirements. And that's not always the best thing to do. And so I'm going to draw this out. But one thing I had to do is this. I decided to get humble. And when I say humble, humble. I would love to sit down and give you um, and sit down and give you some of the stories that I've been through because it would have you dying laughing. I wasn't laughing at the time, but now I could sit up and say, you know, it was a funny experience. So number one is humility. Number two is this. Learn from the best. My motto is this. If you want to be the best, do what the best do. So anything that I do has a specific when, what, why, how, whatever. If the best are doing it, best believe I am doing it or have been doing it for several years. Number three, which is my absolute favorite, is this. Serve others. Anytime there is an opportunity to give my surgical services away, I'm there. Let's make this clear. Anytime I'm available. So generally once a quarter, maybe twice a quarter, I'm out doing some type of oral cancer screenings or I'm speaking to students in dental school or I'm just giving back at a free dental day to where I am literally giving my services on a prime day like a Thursday or Friday doing my surgeries because the time that I'm giving back, what it does is it's like putting blood back into my heart because after 10,000 cases, you know, you could be, I'm working, it's just like, ouch, okay, give you a little anesthetic. And by giving back and serving others, what it does is it pumps blood back into my heart. So I still feel the patient. I still understand what they're going through. And I want to make sure to them that it's not just about the moniker of smiling after surgery or what looks hard is often easy. My focus is truly to serve others. And that's how I've gotten to this point. I wouldn't have been able to get to 10,000 cases in eight years without doing extreme amount of giving back. So it's good. Go to the CE courses. That's a must. Get the residencies. That's necessity. However, if you're not humble, forget about it. If you're not looking to train with the best or learn from the best and do whatever it takes that they tell you, resources, and I'm not even talking about money at this point. But to do whatever they instruct you to do, forget about it. And most importantly, if you're not willing to serve others, disregard everything. When I went to Oakwood, the motto was enter to learn and depart to serve. So now you know how I became the clinician that I am today. So once again, this is Dr. Jared Williams, and my focus is for you to smile after surgery. Make it a great one and go serve somebody. It's the best thing to do.